Good morning, YouTube. It's your man, all the way, Joe Page, aka the Emperor of Female Bodybuilding Talk, coming to you live, live on YouTube. Well, as you know, I, this is one of my another uh, comparisons of my silicone free um, series. As you, you know, and this is about female bodybuilders, as I said before, who have not bent the knee to the uh, will of silicone. And, and like I said, it takes, you know, like I said before, it takes a special type of competitor, especially in the sport of female bodybuilding to not to um, adhere to the uh, will of the majority and which is that's the judges and and what the uh, you know um, other people want to see and you gotta respect that decision not to um, take it um, get you know surgery and have a, a set of um, uh, plastic balloons filled with silicone or saline put under your chest and I think women with natural you know you People might say not say natural in a way, but you know, I say that's natural because the fact is that's the natural state. You know, um breast tissue is mostly um generally fat because it takes fat to build muscle. You you you're gonna lose it. But anyway, this is these ladies here are physique competitors. And I'm starting to have a little you know, a little grow I might grow a little shine to physique. You know, I you know, me I was I'm more of a hardcore fan of female bodybuilding, but in the last few years, I'm, I kind of like it. It's, you know, it's an alternative version to the sport. And it's a, it's a way to keep the sport going, especially for women. And these ladies are both Miss Olympias, but not true Miss Olympias. <laughs> They're physique Olympias. And the lady here, um, one Miss Dana Lynn Bailey, she is one of the most, I think, the first and most well-known Miss Olympias. And um, the lady on, on the other side of her, Sarah Viglis, is the current Miss Olympia. She defeated, she defeated the two-time Miss Olympia, Shanique Grant. And a lot of people, this, I'm, 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 I have a lot of people saying that Shanique should have won. But I think what, what I found out with some of the, um, the competitors I talked to and women that are in the sport, that the, 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 they really wanted to go back to a style, a look. And that's why I'm doing a comparison between these two ladies. And they have amazing physiques. And Donnie Bailey is very attractive, I would say. And so is uh, Sarah. And I'm surprised, especially someone like Don, Donna Lynn, that she never got breast implants. And she, even today, she still hasn't had breast implants. And I think she really respects her body uh, to, to that point where she never did that. And, you know, she's a two-time Miss Olympia. You know, you know, she won it in 2013 and 2014. And Sarah is the current Miss Olympia, who, you know, is probably defending her title uh, this coming um, uh, September. And, you know... No, it's out towards September. I forget. Anyway, this is just a basic little pose because, you know, um, physique competitors only have five poses. That's two poses less compared to um, female bodybuilders. And this is just a basic and nice you know, starting pose up here. You know, it's very stylish. You know, then we have the starting here. We have the double, uh, the double um, front double bicep because when the physique competitors, they had to do more of a stylish look and they do. They have an open hand style. Which is not as you know, not as aggressive. They you know, because the female bodybuilders, their posings are compared to the men's, and the uh, IFBB have sanctioned that fem female physique competitors can only do five poses. So they cut out a couple of poses that usually be seem too you know muscular by the standards of uh, women. But here is a uh, uh, front double bicep, and you know what? They like I said, Sarah and Dana are just it's they're, they're so much similar in the way. And I'm really having a hard time with this one. Mmm. It's like this could be a draw, fellas. I don't know. They, you know, like I said, they are impressive. But if I had to give it on style points, I might just give it to uh, Dana Lynn. I mean, she has a little more style to it. Sarah, she's doing more of the uh, typical kind of um, posing. But it's a good pose. But if you, if you give it to, points to it, I might have to give it to Dana Lynn. Now, here we have a rear double bicep. And both the ladies are uh, impressive from the rear. <laughs> and if give it to, mm, like I said, this is this is about difficult. You know, I'll try and find the right pictures to fit and see you know, comparisons. But um, you can really see the styration and the development in Dana's back compared to Sarah. Sarah's pretty good, but I'm like I said, I might give this one to uh, Dana Lynn. Now here we have side chest. And as you said before, you know, um, this is the female physique version of side chest. They don't do like the like the uh, with the like the female bodybuilders who have more of the 
the flex of the bicep. This is more of a straight arm, you know, kind of style. And side chest, I have to give this one to Sarah. Sarah looks like you can see a lot more detail in her chest compared to Dana Lynn. Dana Lynn is pretty impressive. But like I said, they do both doing the same um, typical um, physique women's pose where with the leg out and they don't do the uh, the strong arm, you know, like you do the bicep. But here I have to give this one to Sarah. And here is a tricep. Now, Dana Lynn is doing more of, you would say, the uh, typical uh, women's physique style of a tricep while um, Sarah is doing closer to almost like typical bodybuilding, you know, like, you know, the women do. And here, I think I'll give this one to Sarah. You can see a little more detail. She's really pulling that extra, getting the extra pop. And Dana Lynn, she's, hers is pretty good. But with um, Sarah, it's more the, the, the typical um, pose where you often see done by um, female bodybuilders, you know. Here, abdominals, you know, and abs, pretty impressive. You know, and uh, I think Sarah got a great set of abs, and so does Dana. And here, I'm going to have to flip the coin on this. Uh, hoo, 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 hoo. These women have great abdominals. But I think the push, I think I give the push to Dana Lynn. You know, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. If I'm right, I'm right. If y'all, if y'all feel like y'all have a choice, y'all feel like y'all, y'all feel who's better, let me know. Put in, the, put in the comment section. And right here, just a nice little typical pose. Very, you know, you know, very, you know, female bodybuilders do more, you know, female physique competitors do more of style. They don't do, you know, they have their own style compared to the female bodybuilders because, you know, the IFBB was pushing the idea of femininity. And the idea of physique is to bring back the classic look of the, uh, I think about the 80s and the 90s. But you got to think about it. A lot of women get a push-up to physique because, you know, their their bodies develop differently. You know, there's some competitors I've seen that should be in, in on bodybuilding. There's some that do deserve to be in physique. And these ladies are, you know, just the, 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 the pinnacle of female physique. Here's a nice bicep pose. <laughs> I like this one, Dana Lynn. She's looking at the ice cream. And this is one Sarah after she won her uh, uh, Miss Olympia title. And if you go with it, uh, see, they just look just about the same in a way. But, uh, you know, I think I'll give a push to Dana Lynn. I mean, she, she just is comical, you know, and she is a, you know, she, she's a franchise now, you know. And here is the glutes. And uh, press up glutes here. Um, I think I give it to Sarah. Sarah is very more styrated in the glutes. You can see more the muscle detail compared to Dana Lynn. Dana Lynn looks pretty good. This is competitive, com uh, competitive pictures. You know, you compare competitive com competition pictures to just, you know, prepping before the show pictures. And, you know, it's a big difference on stage. But, yeah, I have to give this glutes to um, Sarah. And here's just a nice little... You know, um, what I call beefcake pitches. See, Dana Lynn, she does more than, um, you know, I think with Sarah Vigas, she hadn't got to her point yet where she started doing more of these type of picks. And, you know, and these are, you know, and this is her just at home, you know, probably, uh, you know, sizing herself up, see how she looks for the season. This is, you know, Dana Lynn, a nice little bikini. And, you know, this is just, they're both impressive women. You know, great bodies, great physiques. You know, I think if Sarah gets her opportunity, you know, she need, she really needs to make herself into a brand. You know, like you know, like like um, Dana Lynn, and um, Dana Lynn, even though she's not competing anymore, she's the way she's still in the sport. She does some other stuff outside of the sport. She does a, uh, I think she does powerlifting. She also, um, you know, she competed on um, uh, American Ninja Warrior a few years ago. And Sarah, I think once she, I think if she gets her second Miss Olympia, I think she should really take advantage of that and really build up her, her, um, her, um, you know, portfolio, you know, do more, um, picks and stuff like that. You know, really the guys really like that, you know, just when these women do like these, uh, you know, what I would call beefcake pitches, you know, and both these ladies are impressive. You know, I, like I said, physique is starting to become, start to grow on me. And I like to reach out to some of the competitors and talk to them on my show. Um, I'm planning on trying to reach out to a lady. I got a lady right now. She's a, I follow her on social media. She's a, she's a amateur. And I need to get back up with her and about doing an interview. And I'd like to get some more to more, some professional level of competitors if I can. You know, I, when Take Away did with, with, with Jada Beverly, she was physique. 
But like I said, um, you know, I like to get some more. I like to see their point of how they feel about the sport and how the way it's going, you know. But like I said, these are both a person women, both Olympian champions. Um, and uh, like I said, there's a good chance we might see Sarah get a a, a, a second title, possibly. Now that, um, you know, Sneak Grant has decided to uh, uh, retire. And you still got some other women that's coming up that probably might be a threat for the title. But I think Sarah's going to retain it this year if she's uh if she's lucky and like i said Dan Lynn, she's still around you know at one point i reached out to my and asked if she's thinking about returning but i think she said she's done you know she she made him she she made her uh her mark and she done what she did and you know but like i said these are great women great represent representation of their um their division and um just amazing physiques and just women who respect their bodies enough not to bend to the will of of um of silicone this is your man all the way at George Page, a.k.a. the emperor of female bodybuilding talk. Like, don't like, subscribe, don't subscribe. I'm out.